Apple's app tracking transparency framework and the StoreKit ad network were introduced together at WWDC 2020. Of specific importance was their announcement that no user nor device information shall be used for the purpose of targeting and measurement unless consent is captured via Apple's app tracking transparency framework. And if consent is not captured, the attribution option is Apple's StoreKit ad network, also known as the SK ad network. In 2021, Apple released iOS 14.5, and the app tracking transparency prompt went into effect on iOS devices. This is the prompt that gives the users the ability to ask apps not to track data on their device or consent to tracking. Let's take a look at how these actions impacted the industry, specifically changing attribution for digital marketers. This chart shows attribution from January 2021 through January 2022. Attribution, as a reminder, is the credit given to a source, a network, or a publisher when a user downloads an app. These different bands of color represent different sources of attribution. The first is deterministic attribution, which is the IDFA, the device identifier that was, prior to the new rules, passed to an advertiser to identify the device that interacted with their ad. Then we have probabilistic attribution, which uses other methods to attempt to identify the device. Then self-attributing networks, which do their own reporting and grade their own homework, what we sometimes call the walled gardens because we don't have access to verify their reporting. These include the big owned and operating networks like Google, Facebook, Twitter, and others. Then we have Apple Search and the SK Ad Network. So let's take a look at this point here in the chart. This is June 7th, 2021, the crossover point by which most devices were running iOS 14.5 and had the ability to show the app tracking transparency prompt to users when they launched the app. It's at this point that the digital advertising world really began to experience seismic shifts. Deterministic attribution took a hit, which we of course expected because the IDFA couldn't be used for device matches. Deterministic went from 25% of total attribution prior to ATT to just 5%. Now let's look at probabilistic. Again, the ATT guidance indicates no device nor user information shall be used for the purposes of targeting or measurement. So we expected this to decrease because user agent and IP can be considered device or user information. Those elements are used for what we call fingerprinting and fingerprinting has gone down but owned media took up the slack. Owned media is email, social posts, or other web presences owned by the brand. So no real net change to this segment, but the composition of it shifted as brands implemented more of their own owned media. Let's take a look at self-attributing networks. Remember, these are the big O&O networks like Facebook and Google. And this group made up 35% of total attributions prior to ATT, and they now make up less than 7%. The final two sections are Apple Search and the SK Ad Network. Apple Search grew from just 12% of overall attributions to 32%, and the SK Ad Network went from under 1% to 30% of total. If you're in digital marketing and you felt these seismic shifts in the past year or so, you're not alone. I'm Grant Simmons, Vice President of Coachava Foundry. For more analyses like these, subscribe to Ad Tech Trends by Coachava.